exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted, forever exalted, and I will praise His name. He is the Lord, forever His truth shall reign, heaven and earth. Rejoice in His holy name. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. He is the Lord. Forever His truth shall reign. Heaven. Rejoice in His holy name. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted. The King is exalted. And I will praise His name. He is the Lord. Forever His truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in His holy name. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. And He is the Lord, forever His truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in His holy name. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. He exalted Him over our lives. He is exalted. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. Our God is exalted in mercy and justice. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. Let us exalt the Lord over our families. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. Over this broken world, we exalt the Lord. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Forever. Forever His truth shall reign. The truth that sets us free. Heaven and earth rejoice in His hope. Exalted, the King is exalted on high. Let us exalt Him with our praises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Jesus, we exalt your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we exalt you for you are King. You are the truth that sets us free. You are the joy that will deliver our souls, O God. Jesus, we exalt you. We exalt you for you are the King eternal. Jesus, we exalt you for you are the living God. Jesus, we exalt you for you are the Messiah. Jesus, we exalt your holy name, O God. We exalt your holy name over everything that has gone sick, everything that has gone wrong, everything that has gone bad in our lives. O God, everything that has gone evil in this world, Jesus, we exalt you, Lord. 
come take your place oh god be enthroned in our praises hallelujah lord jesus we praise you hallelujah jesus we exalt you thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah 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 jesus we exalt you lord hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus we exalt you forever your name oh god your truth oh god thank you jesus thank you jesus call on the name of the lord jesus call on the name of the lord jesus jesus be exalted jesus be exalted over our broken bodies jesus be exalted over our minds jesus be exalted in our hearts oh god jesus be exalted in our hearts thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus of his kingdom there will be no end god is enthroned in the heavens he is defeated once and for all the powers of evil god is enthroned and every knee in heaven and on earth and under the earth bow down before him in adoration exalting the god the god who is god of mercy scripture says let us approach his throne of mercy in order to receive grace Jesus was exalted and took his place in the heavens enthroned as the son of god and he reached there by being exalted on the cross He was high and lifted up above the earth. And here he is exalted on this altar. And Jesus said, "I am exalted that every one may draw to me." When I am exalted, human kind will be drawn to me and we are here being drawn into his presence we are also being drawn into his healing love we are being drawn from the place of helplessness to the throne where grace is flowing Jesus is exalted here and from where he is exalted his eyes are on you the scripture says the shepherd exalts himself that he might see every single one of his sheep no matter how far they stray they are still within his sight let us keep our eyes on him jesus sees you he knows the journey that you have taken to be here he knows what you hold in your heart too long have we looked everywhere else too long have we tried to look within our own hearts 
too long have we tried to look at a future that is not ours yet look to jesus jesus the truth shall that shall forever reign look to jesus for in his eyes are mercy a god who in his absolute mercy has drawn us here it is this god who reveals the fullness of his mercy at calvary Let us contemplate his mercy as we pray together. Lord Jesus, you died, but the source of life gushed but forth for souls, souls, and the ocean, ocean of mercy, mercy opened, opened up for the, the whole world. world. O, o font, font of life, life unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself, yourself out, out upon us. us. O, o blood and water, which, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, As a, As a font, font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, As a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, As a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. give us to say our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen i believe in god the father almighty Creator of, of heaven and, and earth, I and believe Jesus in Jesus Christ, His, His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Look at Jesus. Jesus loved his own and he loved them to the end and he came to this world because of that unchanging amazing love of the father so great was the father's love that he wanted you and me to be held in his healing mercy so great is the father's love that he wants us though we rejected him to be known as his children so great is his love that he wanted that to be our first name that above everything else we would be known as the son as a daughter of god himself so great was his love for this world that turned against him that rejected him that ignored him 
that he gave his only begotten son. The heart of Jesus so, you, so united with the heart of the Father that he brought this love into this world. He gave up the throne of heaven to take up the cross. He gave up his crown of glory and chose a crown of humiliation and suffering and condemnation, the crown of thrones. Jesus took up the cross that no cross in our life would condemn us. Today, whatever the cross in our life may be, maybe it is sickness, maybe it is shame, maybe it is failure. The Lord is telling us, no cross will condemn you. No earthly loss will have its say in your life because Christ has taken up our cross. He has taken up our wounds and he stretched himself on that cross that we may look upon him and know how great is this love that God should choose to die for us not when we were faithful and pious but exactly when we were indifferent to him or style and it is as we contemplate this cross it is as we contemplate this love that we shall be transformed from all our brokenness and our unworthiness. Let's look at Christ. Let's look at Christ on the cross and see how great is His Father's love. If He gave His only Son for you, what is it that He will not do for you? And He cares for you. We no longer need to care for ourselves because He cares for us. Let's draw near to the cross. Let's draw to the foot of the cross. And here at this altar, this altar of supreme sacrifice, this altar of supreme love, please every anxiety, we have for ourselves and for this world and just look at Jesus and love him be free to love him be free to thank him for the cross let's tell him Lord thank you Lord thank you for this cross thank you for your love thank you Lord that as I gaze on you I'm being changed into your image, O God. Let's look upon Christ and thank Him for this most precious gift of giving His life to us on the cross and He will never take it back. Thank you for the cross, the mighty God himself should die for such as us And every day we've changed into your image more and more And by the cross we've truly been transformed Thank you for the cross, the mighty God Himself should die for such as us And every day we've changed into Your image more and more And by 
by the cross, we've truly been transformed. So amazed. And we're so amazed. We give you and we give you praise. And you would save us. That you would save us at such a cost. Tell the Lord, we're so amazed. We're so amazed. And we give you praise. For the power of for the power of the cross We're so amazed We give you praise That you would save us at such a cost We're so amazed And we give you praise for the power of the cross. Look at Christ. Look at his eyes, his bloodshot eyes that look upon you. His bruised lips that whisper your name. his head that hangs low that you may raise your eyes and see that his eyes are on you dare to look at Christ look at his arms stretched out and those very hands that healed the sick that touched the untouchable Those very hands nailed to the cross. Those very feet that walked into the homes of the sinners, that went searching for the lost, cruelly bound and nailed to that cross. Look at him for his every breath was offered for you, just for you, that you may look on him and know that my God is there for me and I will live for him, I will dream dreams for him. I will speak for him. My heart will beat for him, for his heart was torn for me. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for giving me a reason to live, O oh God. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, the mighty cross. Love, that God Himself should die for such as us, and every day we're changed into Your image more and more, and by the cross we're truly being transformed. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, the mighty cross. That God Himself should that die. God himself should die for such as us. And every day. And every day we're changed into your image more and more. Yes. And by the cross we're truly been transformed. We're so amazed. We're so amazed. And we give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. That you would save us at such a cost. Yes, Lord, we're so amazed. We're so amazed. We give you praise. And we give you praise. For the power of your cross. For the power of the cross. We're so amazed, oh God, at your love. We're so amazed. At your name, Pierce. And we give you praise. For your heart that loves that us. You save us at such a cost. You never counted the cost, oh God. 
We're so amazed, Jesus, and we give you praise. We adore you, Lord, for the power of the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the power. Thank you, Jesus. Of Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I will live for you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We will live for you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. At the foot of the cross, we lay our lives for you, Lord. Leave our hearts for you, Lord, that we may love as you love. And we may live as you lived, O God, without counting the cost of love. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So amazed, and we give you praise that you would save us at such a cost. We're so amazed, and we give you praise. For the power of the cross, for the power of the cross. We offer this first decade for the world that God loved so much. We pray for every place where there is war, where there is suffering. injustice and evil where the world has been broken by the shadow of hatred and greed and jealousy where the world has been broken by power mongers and we pray that this mercy that flowed from the cross will bring healing once again to our world Eternal, Eternal Father, Father we, offer we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. How great is your love, O God! A love that is unchanging. A love that is eternal. A love that promises to be with us till the very end. God, as we stand before your cross, we bring to you every moment when we doubted your love, O God. every moment when we were drawn to the altar of our own lives every moment we were called to make a sacrifice every moment of loss that made us question whether you were there at all for us And yet, O oh God, you've shown us time and time again that you cannot but love us. Age to age, you've revealed this love that is ever present.
And now God, you have shown in Christ how deep is your love. Jesus loved his own, he loved them to the end and he would bow down and wash the feet of the disciples. But this has always been the love of God. When he would strip himself of the glory of heaven and take the form of a frail human being. A frail human being who would not even have a place on this earth to be born. A God who would have no earthly claims, no earthly comfort. Jesus would say, the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. He would have no earthly influence, but he would be dragged from injustice to injustice, from authority to authority, only to be condemned to a most shameful and unjust death, has always been love. And it is this love of God that is inviting every one of us to dare to look at him beyond our guilt, beyond our complexes, beyond our fears, beyond that unworthiness. God is calling us. For He is the El Shaddai, He is provides. He revealed his love to Abraham. When Abraham was called in faith to sacrifice his son, Abraham stood before that altar convinced even then of God's love. And he knew, and he knew that wherever he lacked, God will provide. God is calling us in this faith, for this is, this is the faith that will open our eyes to His love. Let's look to Christ. Let's look at God, our Father, whom He came to reveal. Let's look at how He has chosen time and time again to reveal one thing, His unparalleled love for us. El Shaddai, you are the same, you are love. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El El Yona Adonai, Age to age you're still the same, by the power of the name. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Er come Kana Adonai, we will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Through your love and through the Through wrath. your love and through the wrath, you saved the, you son, saved of the son of Abraham. Through the power of through your hand. the power of your hand. Turn the sea. Turn the sea in true dry land. To the outcast. To the outcast on her knees. You are the God who you sees. You are the God who really sees. By your might. By the might you set your children free. El Shaddai, El Shaddai. El El Yona Adonai Age to age you're still the same By the power of the name El Shaddai, El Shaddai Er Kam Kana Adonai We will praise and lift you high El 
should I? Through the years you made it clear. Through the years you made it clear that the time of Christ was near. That the time near. of Christ was near. The people couldn't Through see. Through the people couldn't see what Messiah ought what to be. What Messiah ought to be. Though your word contained Through the plan. Through your word contained the plan. I just could not understand. we will praise and lift you high El Shaddai Through the years you made it clear Through the years you made it clear That the time of Christ was near Through the people couldn't see What Messiah ought to be Though your word contained the plan they just could not understand Your most awesome work was done Through the frailty of your son El Shaddai, El Shaddai El Elyon Adonai Age to age you're still the same By the power of the name El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Kam Kana Adonai, we will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai, we will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, we thank you, we love you, we love you, we praise you. All glory and honor to you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Abba. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you, God, that you are unchanging. Age to age, you're still the same. Thank you, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, age to age, you're still the same. As you rescued Isaac and restored him to his father Abraham, when he dared to trust in you, when he placed his child on that altar, God, you're not a God who destroys, but a God of compassion and mercy and God, this moment we place on the altar the people we love, our family. We place, oh God, the children, the children who are sick, the children who are in the hospitals, the children who are facing exams, the children who are lost. Lord, we praise to you, Lord. We raise to you our parents, brothers and sisters, the people we hold close in our heart. God, everyone who's sick, every family that is struggling, and we ask you, Lord, restore them in your love. We bring to you the little children, O oh Lord, suffering from cancer, the children who have heart disease. We bring to you, Lord, every person, the elderly, who are abandoned, who are lost, who are sick, who are not able to find strength, that they have been so used to. We bring to you the husbands and the wives whose hearts are broken, are not able to find strength in love. Jesus, may that healing love that flowed from your heart on the cross bring healing to our families. We pray this through your most precious name. 
eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on, on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let us turn our eyes to our God. Jesus said, that God so loved the world that He was sent to this world for one reason that He might save everyone who is lost. This was the desire of God, not one should be lost. And Jesus said, this is why he came, for the lost, not for the righteous. He stretched out his hands and touched the sick, the paralyzed, the blind, the deaf, the dumb, the lepers. Because this is salvation, that every one of us, we may experience His touch and we may be drawn to salvation. Jesus said, I will be raised up just as that bronze serpent was raised up in the desert that everyone who looks to me will be saved. You know that the children of God, the children of Israel were wandering in the wilderness, the desert. But their hearts had turned away from God. They were tired and exhausted. And as they opened their lives to complaining, as they turned their faith away from God, they became weak. The snakes of the desert attacked them and they began to die. And that is when Moses turned to God. He turned and asked for mercy and God revealed His mercy the way of mercy telling him, make a bronze serpent and raise it up in the desert. And everyone who looks to that bronze serpent, the venom that had entered their body would be drained out. And they would be rescued from death to life by looking at that bronze serpent. And that is why we are here to look at Jesus. And that is why Jesus was raised on the cross, that nothing may come between us and Him. And here He is on this altar that we can turn our eyes upon Him. And as we look to Him and keep our eyes and our heart on Him, as we forget ourselves and look to Him, the Lord is healing life, is healing love, 
the light of his love is pouring into our souls and draining away everything that is ugly every shadow of fear and pain and grief the lord is releasing from our lives all we need to do is to look to him look to him and offer yourself completely to him let the light of christ invade every dark corner of our hearts and of our minds turn your eyes upon jesus glory and grace turn your eyes upon Jesus look full in his wonderful face and the things of the earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace turn your thoughts upon jesus turn your thoughts upon jesus bring deep look deep to his unfailing love and the thoughts of sin self and strife and the thoughts of sin and selfish strife will be lost in that will rapture be lost of our the rush of turn your thoughts upon Jesus drink deep of his comforting love look deep in his comforting love and the thoughts of sin self and strife and the thoughts of sin and then selfish strife will be lost will be lost in his one Jesus We look to you Lord we love you Jesus Thank you Jesus praise you Lord Jesus We love you Jesus love you Jesus praise you Jesus Oh God you are beautiful Hallelujah Lord Hallelujah You are such a beautiful God And your beauty oh God transforms everything that's been ugly in my life. Your beauty oh God transforms every ugly fear and grief and regret and guilt. Jesus thank you for being such a beautiful God. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you God. You are a holy God and we love you. Thank you Jesus. Keeping our eyes on Christ. We offer this decade for everyone who has been stung by the venom of sin. Everyone who's dying hardened in sin. That Christ may be raised before their eyes. That Christ may be exalted. We pray for every one of our own selves. There could be an addiction in our life that we have surrendered to that we feel helpless against look to him and he will transform you he will deliver you from every bondage for he is the savior he is the deliverer maybe that bondage is jealousy and hatred and greed and pride and unforgiveness maybe that bondage is regret guilt sadness fear maybe that bondage is to some substance maybe that bondage is an addiction to your digital device or to pornography maybe you are in a bondage of an evil relationship 
Look to Christ, He will not embarrass you. Look to Christ for He wants to give you life in all its fullness. We pray, Heavenly Father, may Your will be done. Eternal Father, we offer You the body and blood, soul and divinity of Thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. God revealed himself to the people in the desert. Every time they were in need, He revealed Himself in mercy. And that is why His word says that God is close to those who are broken hearted. And the people in the desert were, were thirsting. They found a well that was filled with bitter water. A water that they could not consume. They could see water but not drink it. Moses turned to God. And that is the first time we see God using a tree to save people. God would instruct Moses and this tree would be dipped in that water and the bitter water became sweet. And that is when God revealed Himself, saying, I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord, your healer. And scripture says, yes, we are healed by His wounds. For another, for on another tree, the tree that we look at and understand as the cross, on another tree, Christ was crucified, that by His wounds we may be healed. Let's offer to Him our every wounds, the bitterness, the pain we have in our bodies. You could be having a paralysis, be the paralysis on your face. Could be having stiff bones. Now stretch it out and offer it to Christ. And as His word is being spoken in His presence, healing is flowing to every one of us. Whatever the ailment in your body. Maybe there's someone who's sick in your family, someone in a hospital. You're so broken by the burden of your body, you're bedridden. And life is so difficult, so difficult. Offer that burden to Christ. Jesus has come to me. You who are burdened, I will restore you. For oh, He is the Lord, the healer. As we hear this prophetic word being spoken in the presence of the Eucharist, the Lord saying, I am the Lord. Healeth thee. I am the Lord your healer. Experience the healing touch of God. that 
that he loved thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Let's confess with faith, you are the Lord that healeth me. You are the God that healeth me. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord, my healer. Declare it again. You are the Lord that healeth me. You you are the Lord that healeth me. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord, my healer. Jesus, send your word and heal my disease. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord, my healer. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you. We love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. you are the God that He loved me. You are the Lord, my healer. Speak your word, O God. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord. You are the Lord, my healer. We offer this decade for everyone who is sick, bedridden, suffering pain in hospitals. For everyone who is now watching this program, who is praying with us, that you will experience the powerful healing touch of our God. For by His wounds you are healed. Eternal Father, we offer, we offer you, you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus on the cross gave up his breath. gave up his life by offering up his spirit that you and I may have life. And the one life that we can have that will fill us, the one life that will make life, this life worth living, is when we receive the breath of the Holy Spirit. We come alive as Christ breathes His Holy Spirit upon us. And that is why Jesus went up the cross. That is why He suffered. 
that He might offer up His Spirit for every one of us to be anointed by the Holy Spirit. Let's reach out and tell the Lord, Lord, breathe upon me. O Spirit of God, O breath of God, can raise me to life again. Breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, Most High. To your name, Most High. I'm yielding to your Spirit. I'm yielding to your Spirit. I'm walking in your love. I'm walking in your love. Jesus, I adore your holy name. Jesus, I adore your holy name. Breathe upon me. Breathe upon me, breath of God. Thirst for His Holy Spirit. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands and say, As I lift my hands and surrender to your name most high to your name most high i'm yielding to your spirit i'm yielding to your spirit i'm walking in your love i'm walking in your love jesus i adore your holy name. jesus i adore Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We glorify your name forever and ever. Lord. We honor you. We love you. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We offer this final decade for the church, Pope Francis all the leaders of the church and every baptized person, that there be a mighty renewal in this church and we may be instruments of God's healing breath in this world. Eternal and Father, we offer, we offer thee you the, the body and blood, soul and, soul and divinity of thy of dearly dear beloved blood, Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ in, in atonement for our sins, sins and those, those of the, the whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let us exalt the Lord. Singing again, He is exalted as we bow down our knees and receive the blessing of the Lord. Exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted, forever exalted, and I will praise His name. 
In his holy name, he is exalted, forever exalted on high. And he is exalted, the king is exalted on high. Oh, sacrament, most holy. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, be every moment thine, be every moment thine. 